Hi everyone, welcome to Informatica Global Customer Support. My name is Shubham Kumar Maurya and today we will discuss about null matching. As part of this video, we will start with introduction, prerequisite. We will discuss about null match null, null match is not null, followed by demo and references. So what is null match? This is one of the match column property that you can configure for match rules. Null matching is used to specify how the match process handles null values that matches other null values. By default, null matching is disabled and MDM treats null as unequal value when it searches for matches. When matching is disabled, a null value does not match any value. To enable null matching, you can select one of the following option for match columns it is null matches null null matches not null so here is the prerequisite so you need to configure match and match setup on base object also you need to configure the exact match column and while configuring the match rule you must have exact match column in the match rule so let's discuss about null match null. You can enable null match null option to specify that the match process considers two null values as matches. Based on null matching scenario, one of the following value pair is considered a match. When both cell values are null and when both values are identical. So let's take one of the example where we enable null matches null and one of the cell is non-null having non-null value. So for this we we are taking the base object as customer and we have three records with row ID object one, two and three for John Smith. For row ID object one we have extension as null uh, and also for row id object 2 the phone extension is null for row id object 3 the phone extension is 236 so as we have configured null match null so when we run match and match job that the two of the record that is row id object 1 and row id object 2 will get merged with each other and in base object we will have two record that is row id object 1 and row id object 3 <coughs> and we can cross check in cross reference table there we will have three records out of which out of three the two records have same row id object that got merged that is having phone extension as null and the other one which does not does not match is also there in the cross reference table. Let's discuss about null matches non null. You can enable null matches non null option to specify that the match process considers null value as matches of any value that is not null. Based on null matching scenario, one of the following value pair is considered a match. When one cell is null and the other cell value is not null, and when both values are identical. So let's go ahead and take a few example of null matches not null. So here we will take example when we have null matches not null, and one cell value is null. So again we are taking the customer as a base object, and we have two records out of which for row id object the extension phone extension is 236 and for row id object 2 the extension code is null when we run match and merge job as we have configured null matches non null so this two value basically this this two phone extension uh, will get merged with each other so in base object we will have one record as merged record 
mean cross reference table correspond to that we will have two records having the same row id object now let's move ahead and take another example when both cells are identical in case of null match not null so again we are taking customer as a base object and john smith as a record so uh, we have a two record for row id object 1 the extension code is 236 and for row id object 2 the extension code is 236 after match and merge we'll see in the base object that there will be the two record got merged and there will be one record in the base object and in the cross reference table uh, the two records uh, we can see that the row id object value of the two record is same this is how uh, th this we will uh, see as part of our demo later now let's let's move ahead and take another example when one cell value is null and another is identical so again we are taking the customer as a base object and we are performing match and merge so we have three records with row id object 1 2 and 3 the row id object has phone extension as 236 <coughs> the row id object 2 has phone extension as null and the row id object has row id object 3 has phone extension as 236 so basically row id object 1 and 3 are identical and 2 having null value in extension column so when we run the match and merge job because of the bmg process record 1 and 2 got merge with each other and in the base object we can see that row id object 1 and row id object 3 will be there in the cross reference table we can see that Uh, the record which got merged with each other having the same row id object and there is another record that is not merged with any any of the record but uh, here one thing we can observe that after match and merge we can see in the bo uh, we can see the two identical record in the bo <coughs> so why why this happens so this happened because of build match group because since uh, in case when we have null match not null option enabled build match group allows only single null to non null match in any group to re reduce the possibility of unwanted transitive match to ensure identical value are not dropped create two exact rule that are identical in one exact match rule enable null matches not null option in other exact match rule disable null match not null option in match rule execution sequence ensure that the exact match rule with non null not with null matches not null option disabled precede the exact match rule with with the null matches non null option enabled so this is what we recommend when we when we go for null matches not null uh, there is one more point that is null matching and cement matching are mutually exclusive now what does that mean so you cannot configure both null matching and cement matching on a exact match column uh, like if you configured uh, if you configured a null match for one of the exact match column you cannot configure the segment matching for the same exact match column so uh, in one match rule so there is one c repos table that is c repos match rule component in which there is one column called null match indicator if you have enabled any of the exact match column as null matching so based on the value in the null match 
uh, whatever the value there that is there in the null match indicator you can identify that what kind of null matching property you have opt for for null matches null column value of null match indicator will be 1 and for null matches not null column value of null match indicator will be 2 so that's it as a part of the ppt now we'll move forward and see the demo whatever we have discussed so far let's start with example of null matches null so we have a customer base object in which we have three records for row id object one and two we have extension code we have extension as null and uh, for row id object three we have extension as 236 let's see a configuration in the hub console so we have configured match and merge setup so in this we have configured the ma exact match column and we have configured match rule let's edit this match rule so for extension we have configured null match null matches null so now let's go ahead and run the match on customer table match and merge on customer table so if we see one record is queued for auto match so when we run this we can see that uh, the row, row id object 1 and 2 got merged with each other and if we check in the row id xref table so we can see that there are two records with the same row id object let's move ahead and see example of null matches non null so again we are taking the customer base object and we have two records in customer base object uh, that is row id object 1 and row id object 2 for row id object 1 the extension is null and for row id object 2 the extension is 236 so we have changed our configuration for match and merge setup in hub console so let's edit it and for extension we have changed it to null match not null okay now run the match and merge job on this table okay you can see that uh, the record got auto match let's check in the view table there will be one record yeah so so both the record are got merged with each other let's check in the xf table also in xf table we can see that there is a two record with the same row id object that's it let's move ahead now take example of null match not null in which both the cell value for extension is identical that is 236 so again we are taking the customer table and in which we have two records row id object 1 and row id object 2 and the extension for both the record is 236 so we have already configured uh, null match not null so let's move ahead and run the match job match and match job on this table yeah so it got completed so we can see that the record got merged let's check in the database the view table here will be one record yeah so there is one record so both row id object 1 and 2 got merged with each other let's check in the xref table so in xref table there is two record with the same row id object that's it let's move ahead and take a next example as part of this example of null matches non null we'll take a three record out of which two record will be identical and one record uh, has a null extension so again take a customer base object and in which we have three records and for row id object one the extension is 236 and for row id object three also the extension is 236 and for row id object two the extension is null let's see how mdm will behave so so we have already done the configuration of null matches not null in our as part of our match must setup
so let's run the match and merge job on this table so it got completed we can see that one report got merged let's check in the base object so we see here uh, we can see that row id object 1 and 2 got merged with each other so let's check in the cross reference table also so here we can see that row id xref1 and row id xref2 merge with each other and uh, with this we can see the behavior that how mdms behave when we have null matches uh, not null configured that's it it's the part of demo so you can refer the below link for the more information we would like to hear from you uh, you can comment us at support videos at the rate you can also connect us connect us at twitter.com slash infasupport thank you and have a nice day